Hello guys. If you want to watch this sports, follow the link in the description below. Hello guys. If you want to watch this sports, follow the link in the description below. Hello guys. If you want to watch this sports, follow the link in the description below. Hello guys. If you want to watch this sports, follow the link in the description below. Hello guys. If you want to watch this sports, follow the link in the description below. Every highlight right as it happens, download the CBS Sports app now. Second and seventh. And this is Crowell again. Crowell is running room up the middle. Across the 45, spinning out to the 48-yard line. Looks to be about a yard short of a first down. Calvin Pryor, the second-year safety, up to make the tackle. And when talking to the Browns, you hear them talk about how we want to establish the run. We want to run the football. And, and you kind of you think to yourself, well, wait a second, this Jet defense, they're really good at stopping the run. But you can see the consistency with what Cleveland is doing in terms of their play calling. They're pounding this ball. On short yardage, McCown with the keeper and uh, appears to have enough for the first down. Were you just thrilled to death as a quarterback when you uh, when they said, "Okay, sneak it"? <laughs> Not when you see those big bodies that the Jets have at the defensive line. I was I was pretty good with my offensive line though. They were there were some good crew there. You can see the push they get in the center there. As we mentioned, Alex Mack coming back off of that injury. Pushing the pile there in the middle, and that's right where Josh McCown followed. Once again, the rookie Drew Johnson Jr. A little sidearm pass completely across midfield and into Jets territory is tight end Gary Barnage. Quentin nice. Copels will be coming up the field here on, on McCown. See how he gets his body around and has to drop his arm and do a little sidearm. Nice little makeshift pass by McCown. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to make it up. Second and eight, the 11th play of this drive. And now Duke Johnson in the slot to the near side. McCown saw the rush coming, got rid of it. Inside the 45 to about the 43 yard line is Malcolm Johnson. Jets decide to bring pressure this time, coming off the right side. Pounds away. Matchup for him against Issa Rayan with his speed. The team defending Pro looking to work against Pines. And Pines went down. It'll be a goal kick. Be interesting to see the matchup between Pines and the combination of Proke and Ryan, and that is not a good sign for Maryland. If Donovan Pines holding the shoulder there, maybe he went down a bit awkwardly as he looked to challenge Danielle Proke, trying to flex it out right now, but you can see clearly in some pain. You always worry about that. So many shoulder issues as well. Two shoulder surgeries, but that thing's dislocated. He's, he's not walking around like that. But he did go down awkwardly. Brett St. Martin, a quick jog down the sidelines. Yeah, sometimes you just fall awkwardly on that shoulder. If he's had any issues with it in the past, it's a painful one. See him holding it there. He's cradling that arm. You look at Ray Ann, slightly built, listed at 5'10. Daniele Proak listed at 5'7. And then you have the sort of physically dominating Pines, 6'5. So that's where Gaspar and DeRosa on the outside backs are going to have to. Be giving a lot of cover to those big fellows. They can't take Issa Rayan one on one with the speed. Pines, those long strides making up ground on Daniel Wright. Now working with Wright on his back. Pines able to turn. And then Wright grabs him. Yeah. 
mentioned Maryland playing perhaps its best soccer of the season as of late. A win over Michigan State, a 1-1 tie. And on into penalties with Indiana, number two team in the country. Victory over the Wolfpack of NC State in the second round. Schedule. Services is going to come in with a little jump float serve, but that's a different proposition now for the serve receiving unit. The ball coming on a flat, straight line. Difficult to know where it's going to drop if it's performed well. And it was, but there's options here. Oh, that was too slow. Uh, too low, I should say. And Lucas was across on that. By the time Smith's had the swing here, Lucas is practically touching that. Those of you that play volleyball and play regularly, you'll understand what this game's all about. Playing in a tournament like this, the likes of Brazil and the USA, playing the likes of Tunisia and Egypt, where the level isn't quite the same. That's a great serve. Well, it went through the antenna, so Bruno can't go and get it. It's easy not to have the focus. Because you know you're going to win. But when we come to a game like this, and you'll. 